In this video, we're going to find dy dx for the implicitly defined function x cubed plus y cubed minus 4x squared y equals 0. And I'm going to use the dy dx notation in this. Sometimes in my videos I use y prime instead. But because it says dy dx, let's go ahead and do this one in terms of dy dx. Ultimately, it's up to you. Okay. So the derivative of x cubed is actually just 3x squared there's no chain rule necessary there because we're thinking of things as a function of x. This will be a chain rule because we're thinking of y as an implicit function of x, so it's 3y squared times the derivative of y, which is dy dx, or y prime if you like that notation. Now this term, the minus 4x squared y, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to do minus 4, and then I'm going to do a product rule on the x squared y. So I hold the x squared constant times the derivative of y, which as we said is dy dx, plus now the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and we're going to hold the y constant, which is y, and equals 0. <clears throat> now, we want to get every term with a dy dx in it on one side and every term without on the other. So I'm going to just need to distribute this minus 4 to be able to move things around. So 3x squared plus 3y squared dy dx minus 4x squared dy dx minus 8xy when I multiply here equals 0. Now this term and this term I'm going to leave on the left hand side here. These two terms I'm going to move over to this side. So I have 3y squared dy dx minus 4x squared dy dx equals, I'm adding 8xy to both sides, right? Because I've got to add 8xy plus 8xy, and I'm subtracting 3x squared off of both sides. So minus 3x squared. Now on this left hand side, the reason I do this is now both these terms have dy dx in it and I can factor it out. So dy dx times 3y squared minus 4x squared equals 8xy minus 3x squared and I'm going to divide by that term to get my dy dx. So dy dx equals 8x y minus 3x squared all over 3y squared minus 4x squared and there we're all done.